We really live in a weird timeline, don't we? I mean, I'm pretty sure the reason why she made this video was to ensure that she can indeed walk to all her fans, which is very, very bizarre given the fact that you're a human being and that you should default be able to walk. But I guess if you weigh, I'm guessing somewhere around 600 pounds, it's going to be very difficult. And this is a very weird flex indeed. Usually if you're going to flex about something, it's going to be usually something that's abnormal. Like, yeah, I can balance or I can juggle or I have a very weird collection of jewish foreskin right there's a whole bunch of that but never ever would you would i ever have thought of seeing a 600 pound person flexing that they can walk uh, but it is an anomaly it is the timeline that we're in uh people have eaten themselves to <laughs> people have eaten themselves to disability and that's amazing uh, honestly i would rather have that than people like dying in the streets of starvation or like a zombie apocalypse or like a a, a universe with omni man like holding somebody up by a train and just like smashing their face into that train so it's like i guess it's a uh, it's a it's a good thing it's i mean it's not a good thing but it's you know it's a good thing um also the leopard skin kind of weird kind of weird i don't know what the appeal on the leopard skin is but a lot of people have told me that this individual is trying to appeal to men that are perhaps doing certain things to themselves penis wise and i'm not really sure if that's true it probably is true given the fact that there are plenty of people out there that are trying to facilitate the orgasmic love of themselves through the realm of seeing very very big women eating a lot of food i don't think she does that but there have been a lot of videos of her doing certain things she was on my 600 pound life i believe too um jesus christ can we get some type of thing to to get rid of the dust how long has that dust been there I mean, it makes sense. This woman can't even take care of herself, let alone the apartment that she's in at all. But she does have a switch, which I'll give her that. I think that's a switch, right? Is that a switch? I don't know. Her house is probably in perpetual disrepair because there's no way somebody of this size is going to be able to take care of the house, let alone themselves. Hey, everybody. It's Liz Lizzie down here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I, just the way that she, like, just the way, it's like, you ever make pancakes and you put like a little drop into the pan and then it just kind of spreads out. And the way that she just kind of takes herself and just kind of, you know, spreads it out a little bit, almost kind of like it's dough. I just kind of think that that's a little bit weird. Why would you choose to do that? And it's something that she does in all her videos. And I don't know if she's doing that to, like I said before, induce some type of like <gasps> an orgasm from men. That's probably something that's happening here. There are plenty. Let's be honest here for a second, dude. Okay, look, how many dudes have you known in your life that have told you they've beaten off to things that are less than presentable, things that they wouldn't tell their mom about? And that is normal. There are plenty of people. I Listen, it's not just men. I've literally met women that have told me straight out, David, I want you to come over and I want you to eat me. I'm looking like, <laughs> No problem, dude. I'm good at that. I'm fantastic, matter of fact. Amazing oral hygiene on my part. And then you hear, no, bring a knife. Bring a fork. I want you to spit roast me. And then you go, I'm okay. I'm really okay with that. So don't act like women are, you know, shameless. Don't act like women are not doing weird stuff. They are. They're all doing weird stuff. Everybody's doing weird stuff. You've been watching porn since you were 12, okay? That shit's gonna fuck you up. The guy from, like, 1805 saw one woman's ankle in his entire life and died a virgin because he died at, like, 25 because he had, like, scoliosis on the back of his head. So, like, yes, people were dying very young, and nobody ever saw vaginas with the exception of, like, that one guy. And if you ever did see a vagina, it was... Probably one time in your entire life. And that was your wife. Okay? That's it. But nowadays, I've seen thousands of vaginas. And you've probably seen thousands of more vaginas than me. Or penises and things like that. It's unnatural the amount of penises that I've seen. But anyway, it's the point I'm making is it's not an anomaly if somebody is watching this with the intention of beating off. There's a lot of people that are doing it. And don't look down upon those people. You should look down upon those people. So, first off, let me say I do this channel because I want to inspire people. I want to show people that no matter how bad of a day you're having, there's always something positive out there that you can find. If you just look, there's always a brighter sky, a silver lining. I know, sounds cliche, easy to say, blah, blah, blah. But why do you, why would that be an indication of your channel? Like, what about this is inspirational or like looking at the brighter side or seeing the grass is always greener or a glass half full type shit what am i seeing about this by the way not a good uh, whatever i don't even know where you even got this outfit by the way it's the same color as your sheets is that one of those like cloth things you ever go to like the asian chinese store or whatever the chinese dollar store and there's like stuff on the top shelf and you go up to the guy in the front and you go 
hey, uh, I'm trying to get this thing up at the top shelf there. Is there any way anybody can go up there and get that? And then they go, what, what, what the hell? Give me one motherfucking second, boy. Hold on. And then they come over with one of those claws and they grab it off the shelf because none of those dudes are over five foot six. So they come over and they grab it and then they give it to you. And then you go, I don't want it. And they look at you like this. They go, oh, yeah, you don't want it. You just told me to come all the way back here. You know, I wasn't prepared to come back here and I got it for you. Now you don't want it. And it's, it's kind of like. It's a double-edged sword. Do you buy it anyway, even though you know you don't want it because you don't want to feel bad that the guy came over and got it off the shelf for you? Or do you feel like, why do you even have it up on these shelves to begin with if you're not trying to sell this or you're not trying to come up here and get it to begin with? It's a double-edged sword. Um, I'll let you decide that. Peer pressure is a thing, by the way. But I just want to be that little token of, of um, inspiration. Positive. But, like, what about you is inspirational? I guess, like, you being this size is inspiration in the sense of, like, the human body can tolerate a lot of abuse. That's most definitely true. I mean, Jesus Christ, I can't even believe that. Like, I don't even understand what type of physique this is. I, I genuinely have no idea where your body starts and stops, but I'm not here to make fun of her or anything like that. I don't know how she maintained this body, by the way. I remember literally doing a video like a uh, video of her literally a year a year ago, and I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same thing. Like this this video is from like three months ago, so she's I guess done nothing or whatever. Uh, I mean, literally in that last clip, she was like knocking over stuff when she was walking over, which you would think if you were this size, you would get used to the fact that your body has like an extra 18 inches on either side of your body and you would be able to compensate for that. But I guess no. Also, given from the fact that she had like tons and tons of dust on this or whatever this thing is over the table. And I guess that's a suitcase right there. Is that a, a gold suitcase? I don't know. The point I'm making is um, the physique, you know, the body unbelievable can't trust a big butt and a Gemma, and I, 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 I. Can find if you just look. There's always a brighter sky, a silver lining. I know, sounds cliche, easy to say, blah blah blah. But I just want to be that little token of, of um, inspiration. Positive. Me too. I want to be the inspiration too. Look at me as inspiration, guys. Okay. Do you think somebody like me could be? I mean, think about this, right? Everybody looks upon me and they think this guy, this guy looks amazing. This guy looks uh, just absolutely delectable in many ways. And then you would have never known that I also have a ginormous male genitalia. I mean, it's actually incredible. Like anytime I look at it, sometimes I'm shocked and I look at it every day. I can't help to look at it. It's like I wake up and I'm like, oh, wow, another hole in the ceiling. <laughs> what am I going to do now? So I go to the bathroom and I look down at it and I go, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the? F that shit is bleh! Every day. Every day. I'm always shocked at the sheer magnitude, the sheer meaty, massive magnificence between my legs. Look at me as motivation, guys. It is what it is. I'm sorry that you can never achieve something as massive as what I have. But uh, yeah, I'm inspirational. What can I say? It's the same thing here, obviously. Negativity <laughs> in a dark world because there's so much negativity out there. So, but like, what are you doing to facilitate that positivity? Like, just existing, I guess. Is that what? Is that? I mean, is that really the bar? It's like, yeah, guys, me existing should be motivation for you. I mean, if I can do it, I mean, sheesh. In a dark world, because there's so much negativity out there. So I uh, know a lot of you focus on my weight. That's all you want to see. That's not what this channel is. Okay, listen, dude. I get that you think. Okay, first of all, that is crazy. That's a crazy statement. Are we really about to say that? Are we like literally? If you go on her channel right now, I know that she does other stuff on her TikTok page. I know she does, right? But like, dude, she does walking videos where she gets up and people ask her, like, "Hey, can you walk? What do you buy in a month? How are you able to be this size?" And she sits there and goes, "This is not what that channel's about." I don't know how else to tell you this. If you go on like a Pornhub account and it's just straight up BBC porn and that guy goes, there's more to this, there's more to this, there's more to this site than BBC porn, you know? Even though 80 or 90% of the content I'm putting out is just BBC oriented, I, I'm more than that. I'm not saying you're not more than that, but the entire idea of what you're putting out on the internet has to do with your weight. And I, I it just seems really weird that you would go, I'm more than that when that is all you are on your TikTok. It's just, why would you say that? That's such a dumb point. Well, I uh, know a lot of you focus on my weight. That's all you want to see. That's it's not that we, that's all we want to see. That's all we see. Literally, you're recording this vertically and I don't even understand, like you're still outside the frame. That's not what this channel is. Never, ever, ever are you going to hear me tell anybody to gain weight. Yeah? 
Okay. Yeah, I right, bro, but that doesn't really mean much. Like, who cares that you're not telling people that to gain weight? People are probably looking at you and going, wait a minute. Like, you can say something non-verbally and have that be, you know, they always say pitches are worth a thousand words, right? They're the same thing here. Just because you're not saying something verbally doesn't mean other things aren't transpiring. I think that's a very weird way of saying that, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'm just because I'm, I'm not saying something. And that means that I'm not doing it, which is bullshit, by the way. That's not how that works. That's like somebody stabbing somebody and going... Because I didn't say that I was going to stab them, I didn't stab them. Therefore, it's not happening. Anyway. Never are you going to hear me tell anybody what to do about their health. Because that's not my job. That's not my place. I have my own beliefs. <clears throat> excuse me. And I don't push them on anybody else. So I want you to enjoy my channel as a safe place where we can just chat, hang out, and be positive for each other and uplift each other. Because that's what it's all about. It just depends, like, uplifting each other, being kind to each other only stretches so far if you're in the realm of literally enabling people. Like, it's great to sit there and say this, but what does that actually mean? If somebody's struggling very, very tremendously with their health and they have major obesity problems, mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? And you're sitting here looking for people that are just going to basically tell you, yes, queen, and that you're amazing and there's nothing wrong with you health-wise and stuff like that. Is that really the type of behavior you want around you, dude? Or could could it be that you maybe want somebody around you that's going to keep it a buck with you? Somebody's going to keep it a hundred. Somebody's going to tell you, hey, uh, you're big. This is an issue. What the fuck is going on? It's been over a year and you haven't lost a single pound. What is happening, dude? Don't you have people in your life that you're taking care of? I know she has a doggo. I know she has somebody that she has to take care of. Somebody's clearly recording this. Is nobody in your house right now going, listen, Suzanne. Uh, this is kind of crazy. Uh, are you doing anything about your weight? Is nobody telling you that? You, you're just going to like maintain this sedentary lifestyle? What is going on exactly, bro? And I always say that no matter what age you are, it's always possible to lose weight. It's always better to do it earlier than later because the older you get, the harder it will be to get rid of that weight because your body has a tendency of just fucking up. And that just happens in general. Like as you get older, shit just kind of, you get little DLC packs of inadequacies. You wake up one day and you decide that you wanted to crack your knuckle, but you're not said fuck you and now it's attacking you and now you feel bad about that because you used to be able to do something now you can no longer do and that's not your fault because you just got older and if you're gonna plan on losing weight try to do it as soon as possible and and do it as safely as possible obviously uh i just don't understand she's sitting here and she's saying like she's an inspiration or she wants to be looked at as like a the hero we deserve not the one you know the what the hero we need not the one we did we wanted I just don't understand. Like, what do you, what about you is inspirational? What is this safe space going to consist of, dude? What are you talking about? I mean, I would just hope that the people in your community are going to tell you that you need to make some changes, dude. Where are your feet? Being there for each other, being positive, and always finding a reason to smile. Okay. Okay. Because at the end of the day, you'll feel good if you smile. If you are purposely being ignorant about the problems that you have because you think that that somehow is going to make your life better, I see where that's coming from. Like, there is some truth to that. If you don't see the problem, then it's not there technically, right? You know, out of sight, out of mind type shit. But that only goes so far. You do realize that you are actively, like, having your house be burnt down and you're in your house just chilling. And that only lasts for so long. Eventually, that fire is going to come up and it's going to grab your foot and then you're going to be on fire. So I do understand what you're saying. Like, find a reason to smile. You know, don't look at the bad stuff. Embrace good shit. That's fine. But to one degree or another, you're going to have to look in the mirror and realize that it needs to be some changes. You can't just continuously walk around or whatever you're doing for this, like, extended period of your life and think that this is going to, you know, be good or, like, not be perpetually difficult or whatever. I just hope that this individual is... Even though they're very optimistic, or at least they're saying they're very optimistic, I don't believe that. I think this person is just gaslighting us into believing that they're living up their has hashtag living their best life, bro. I don't think that's actually the, the case. I think most of these people do know that they're suffering in a tremendous way. They just don't want to do anything about it. I mean, it's very easy to just live as if nothing is going on and just keep coasting like that until you eventually die then to actively look in the mirror and do something about it before you do actually die and extend it to life and you know have people in your life that you know there are plenty of people in your life that love you care about you and so on and so forth and it's a disservice to them a lot of these people are tremendously selfish selfish and by the way this is also a dusty table you have right here dude can we get an air can is there some kind of like air duster is there some kind of like 
Can you not blow on it? Can you get like a cloth or something like that to wipe that down real quick? I know nobody has dusters anymore. I haven't seen anybody use a duster since like 2005. I don't even know if they sell those anymore. Like the big sticks with the blue, purple, green, orange uh, fuzzies at the end of it. I don't know who uses those anymore. And when I was a kid, I used to use those. I used to just run my arm across it and my face across it before somebody wiped shit down with it, of course. Or maybe after. I don't know. I was an irresponsible kid. I was like sucking on pennies. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me, okay? I did weird shit when I was a child. I don't know. You did weird stuff too. Don't act like I'm the only weird one here. You know you were doing weird stuff too. Don't act like I'm weirder than you. So always remember you are enough just the way you are uh, unless you're not and then that, like if you can't at least if you're having trouble walking and you can you have the ability to use your legs in an optimal way but your legs are being prohibited by the severe amount of girth surrounding them and you want to do more and you want to be healthier you are enough to make decisions in the right direction you can, you are enough to make good decisions. I believe that. You can make good decisions. You're not enough just the way you are because guess what? That just encourages you to stay sedentary. You are more than enough. You are capable of making changes and you can do that. And I believe in you. And I think you taste real good today too. Because you, my friend, are amazing. Public service announcement. And I'm only gonna say this once, so listen closely. Summer's almost here. So if you happen to catch me outside wearing something real fitted with no shapewear on, mind your motherfucking business. Cause it's too hot and I'm too heavy for that nonsense. I agree, but you can't expect people to look upon you and think, you know, like, Duh. like you yeah, obviously people are gonna look at you and go, ooh, damn. <gasps> You know, people are going to say that. It's obvious. This is what's, it's just what's going to happen. And I get that you don't like that. Is this a filter? What is going on right now, dude? What's this 5 o'clock shadow show we got going on, bro? And if you're curious as to what that may look like. We're not Yo, come, what are you doing right now? Listen, you can't tell me to mind my own business, right? And then you making a video like this, just picking up your stomachs as if you're about to make a pizza. That's not right. You can't say don't you know you can't say mind your own business and then be like yeah guy mind your own business anyway let me just pick this shit up real quick put that right there put this right there yo mind your own business all right mind your own business i don't care if that's on your lap i don't care that you can smell it mind your own goddamn business all right i don't care what you gotta say i know i smell like biscuits forget about that shit all right i'm about to butter this shit up right now you can't say that like you can't you can't you can't have the audacity to sit there and say mind your business and make this type of video what are you talking about jesus heavy for that nonsense and if you're curious as to what that may look like when i move you move just like that oh yeah. we outside what whoa i feel a little bit uncomfortable dude i ain't never seen somebody slap some shit like that Usually it's the back, but I guess if you got more front than back, you kind of go with you with, with, whatever your strongest suit is, dude. That's a little bit uncomfortable for my eyes, though. Come get you some. Yo, calm down on that one, all right? Nobody wants that's That's a little bit too far. Maybe orient this to a particular demographic. I'm not trying to get none of that. I love that you just wear whatever you want and you just don't care. Like, you just don't care what people say. You just, you just wear it. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's so cool to be a guy, dude. Like, to have nobody really care about anything that you wear in general. I've been wearing these shorts for two days straight. It's, it's so amazing. And, like, nobody cares at all. I, I, I'm i pretty sure that's not what she's talking about. But, yeah, it's uh, brave. It's amazing. It's fantastic. I mean, what can I say? I'm like a superhero, I guess. So brave. So brave. So brave. What's the point of wearing a button-up if I can see right through it? I feel like that defeats the entire purpose of wearing a button-up. It's like a social statement to wear something that doesn't make sense. Why do we do that nowadays? Like, why does everybody have to be so incredibly weird with everything that they wear? Why is your hair so dynamic? For no reason, by the way. And doing... By the way, I gotta keep it a buck with you. Okay, look. It's fine if you want your hair to be weird. If you want to go like Super Saiyan Rose, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan Regular, or, you know, Ultra Instinct, whatever you want to do, okay? You want to go across the entire spectrum of the rainbow. But can we just really quickly touch on the fact that if you're dyeing your eyebrows, you're going too far. Way too far. And I get it. You're trying to match the hair with the eyebrows. It's too far. Nobody should do that. Regular black eyebrows chef's kiss make sure that stays where it should be and by the way i don't think this is your color either you look really yellow brave 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 so brave. good thing you're not then you would be too powerful <laughs> you're so like statuesque you know what i mean like 
you don't have to worry about like walking home late at night by yourself because like no one's gonna mess with you <laughs> such a crazy has anybody actually ever said that that's a crazy thing to say dude because you're fat i mean i have heard people from the plus size community literally say girl ain't nobody gonna steal me i'm literally 450 nobody can pick me up i can never get kidnapped i literally heard a woman say that if she got stabbed, she's good because she's got, like, I don't know, like, an extra seven inches of layering of fat. So, like, if they tried to stab her, it would just be, like, I don't know, you're just hitting, like, body armor, basically. Which, I mean, I've never heard it explained to me like that. But, like, now that you say it out loud, it still is dumb. But, yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard more people on the plus side side say that rather than anybody that's, like, on the thin side. I've actually never heard somebody thin say that before in my life. But I've heard a lot of plus size women say that. Matter of fact... One of the dating videos, I think the one from two weeks ago, I forgot which one that was called, but I'm pretty sure in that video, there was a fat woman that literally said, mm, ain't nobody gonna steal me, girl. I'm literally too big for that. Mm, so, you know, it's a benefit. It's a benefit. I'm pretty sure those were like verb verbatim. Those were her words. So, I mean, hey, dude, I, you don't find benefits wherever you can, I suppose. That's a crazy one, though. But you're not fat. Don't say that about yourself. You're beautiful. I mean, the really cool thing is that you always know that men really like you for you. True, dude. Because if you're like 450 and dudes are walking up to you, it's it's one of two things. It's either guys really like you for you, which I would always err on the side of caution on that one. Or this guy just wants to smell your vagina, which is probably most of the time going to be the real, real answer on that one. Because most dudes have absolutely zero morals. Okay, dude, I've met guys that have had sex like, okay, don't get me wrong. Women have sex with weird stuff too, okay? I've met women that have put corn in their vagina, not like canned corn or something like that, like, you know, like the corn kernels, not that, but like actual, like, uh, you know, the corn on the cob, I've seen that. And I've met women that have done other stuff, but I've met way, then again, I'm not really talking to a lot of women and asking them, like, so if you were to tell me about weird things that have been in your vagina, please, like, list them out. Never had that. But I've met a lot of dudes that are very forthcoming that have told me right away, I did have sex with a watermelon with my father. I've had that happen to me multiple times. And I'm just thinking, I get that we're playing a game about NASCAR, but it just kind of seems weird that this is the line of dialogue that you would go down, given the fact that I asked you, what's your favorite NASCAR and what's the fastest NASCAR? I don't know why you would bring up the fact that you had sex with a watermelon with your dad as if, as if that's some kind of like bonding experience, you know? Like if I'm having a bonding experience with my dad, maybe we're going fishing or hitting a ball or like whatever gay shit that people do together with their dads. I didn't have one, but... Never in my life have I heard somebody say, man, I loved my dad. We had a great time together, man. We had sex with that watermelon a couple times at a watermelon patch down in Florida. Never heard that, with the exception of that one time when I was playing, I think it was Gran Turismo 5 a few years back when that game was popping. But uh, yeah, it was just really, really crazy at the time, dude. I just, sometimes you just hear really, really weird shit from dudes. I mean, me, myself, sliding, you know, whatever. Listen, if you're down bad and you haven't smelled vagina in like a year and a half, and then you look at that conditioner bottle and you're thinking, this might be okay. This might be the emulation that I need. This might be the opportunity that I can I can use right now. It looks the same as lotion. Never do it, never. It's not, it's not, it's not. Never do that ever in your entire life. That is going to be a disappointment for you, and it's probably gonna hurt. You might have to go to the doctor depending on, and it's gonna be really hard to explain that too. Can you imagine going to the doctor and be like, and the doctor goes, what happened? What, why is it so red and it's bumpy? What, but it smells amazing. What it, is that Irish spring? What, it, what, what is that? And then you go, I don't know what happened. I was wrestling a bear and there was a man that came out of nowhere with conditioner. He said that my pubic hair was a little bit too hard. And then he started lotioning me out with conditioner. And then I came here like you it's very hard to explain there's not really any way you can't explain that it's gonna be weird regardless just be upfront I was beaten off with conditioner I don't know what to tell you bro I'm down bad it's been like many many months since I've even seen a woman that looked at me in a desirable way matter of fact I've had more men that have seen me in a desirable way than women I don't even know if I'm straight anymore but anyway um the point I'm making is there are plenty of women out there that are doing weird shit as well as men okay I don't know what the context is here I don't I have no idea why that was even relevant to what we're talking about but it is something that happens you know you know if you lost some weight you'd be so hot true because you can see jaw structure you can see bone structure you can see rib cage the rib cage is really nice I feel like I feel like a lot of people don't understand how delectable rib I mean I'm not a, I'm not a cannibal or anything like that I'm not talking about like eating your fucking ribs or something like that maybe in a different way but 
I think that when you can see somebody's bone structure and you can see that you can identify like, oh, wow, look at those shoulder, but whoa, the muscle on the back, it just vibrates and it moves in weird ways. I like that. But when you're fat and you move your body, it just kind of jiggles and it kind of takes a little bit of time sometimes. Like when you move your body, there's a good chance that like five or six seconds after that, that, that body part is still moving. So that's always a little bit, un that's a little bit concerning sometimes, a little bit uncanny, it's a little bit creepy. And I would prefer to have more, you know, actual rhythm to the body and stiffness to it. Hold up, that's okay. I can see that being a little bit weird. But I see a lot of guys nowadays, and they emphasize when women have big butt cheeks. And I agree, domesticated butt cheeks are great, and including the domesticated butt cheeks on the front, in the front butt. I think it's great, but I also don't like it when these dudes go, man, I love girls with the lumps, man, the lumpy butt cheeks, dog. I love that shit, right? Just put my face in between them, man, clap them on my face. I had a lot of conversation with a lot of guys like that, a lot of black guys like that. I'm sure there are plenty of white men too, and Asian men, of course, and other species of men as well that we don't know about, uh, Latinos and Latinas or whatever, Latinxes. Those people, I'm sure they also like big busty butt cheeks. But for me personally, I'm going to die on this hill. I would prefer a more chiseled butt cheek. I would prefer a butt cheek that's more quality than quantity. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen Ronnie Coleman's butt cheeks. I mean, that is an ideal butt cheek for women, of course. I mean, I know I'm, I'm talking about a guy here, but I don't know if you guys have ever seen the sheer girth of that man's butt cheeks, bro. The sheer amazingness, how, how he was able to... Uh, get those glutes chiseled down the way he was. I mean, the 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 the, the glute insertions alone. Like sometimes I, I just Google image search Ronnie Coleman from the back during that 2003 performance when he was on stage when he won when he when he won the Olympia. And I'm just thinking like, oh my god, dude, I can't even believe a human being can look like this. I mean, this is like literally perfection. But there are many women out there that also have really great butt cheeks. This is just like what the first thing I think about when I'm talking about butt cheeks. That's the best butt cheeks on the planet. I don't think there's anybody on the entire planet that can ever compete with Ronnie Coleman's butt cheeks. Uh, and I'm and not in a gay way or anything like that, just admiring it, just looking at it and going, whoa, dude, that's insane. That's a great butt cheek. Sometimes I still look in the mirror and I think you don't deserve to go out like this. You don't deserve. Why are you, what are you wearing, dude? Where'd you, man, why are you wearing weird shit? To be fat and go outside. You don't deserve to be fat and have fun with your friends or be fat and laugh or be fat and take up a seat on the bus uh seats we got to be plural on that sometimes i feel like these people say a lot of crazy stuff and it's a lot of deep insecurities it's a lot of like these people actually have issues mentally but they don't think that it's much of an issue to go to therapy or like talk about it with somebody that they trust and that they can confide in and instead they think it's a better option to tell people about their really 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 terrible ideologies and the way they think to the internet I don't know why people are so comfortable doing that. I don't think they understand that this is like actually terrible. And it would be better if you had like your mom or like your brother or your friends or your family that you told the same thing to. That would be a whole lot better because those people are usually going to be a little bit more concerned. And they're going to be able to actually give you insight rather than the internet just going, ha, fat bitch. Like there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be saying that. So when you do this, I want you to know. I get it. Like you have a mental deficiency on this particular front. And because of that, that's leading to this other mental deficiency. And now you're sitting here telling us about your deep insecurities about how you're taking up multiple seats on the bus. And now you don't think that you should be out with your friends and talking to them because you're fat, which I don't find, I guess. I don't know. I've never really heard that before, but it's great. Uh, thank you for telling me. I'm going to be, oh man, I'm going to give you so much helpful insight. There are going to be so many people in your comment section that are going to be giving you some good information, dude. I, this is definitely the outcome that you wanted, right? right or really just be fat and be seen by other people why don't you just lose weight like i hear these people say the most insecure shit i've ever heard in my life and it always just draws back to i'm fat and people look at me weird i don't know why bro you know why you're literally describing it can you just like not be fat then if this is really that much of a problem for you then stop being fat. I, I, I know plenty of fat guys that are very fat and they never talk about it you know why because they don't care you obviously care a lot these voices I hear. It's a little concerning. It's a little concerning, dude. Anytime somebody says these voices I hear, it's always followed up by some crazy shit. Like these voices I hear tell me to eat you. Or these voices I hear tell me I have to microwave your hamster again. Seen by other people. These voices I hear, they sound like my voice, but I know that they are the voices of millions. What are we talking about? people and expectations 
and there are familiar voices and familial voices and ones that I will have to argue with the rest of my life. And I remind myself when I'm looking in the mirror and I'm saying, you don't, you don't deserve the life you want in this body. I make sure I just put my shoes on, I take steps to be outside, and I go and I try and create the life that I know deep down that I deserve. But that doesn't include losing weight. Like you're having all these thoughts and you're having voices in your head that you're arguing with literally daily, your words, not mine. You're looking in the mirror, you're finding deep insecurities with yourself and you're just kind of going, oh well, and you're just walking out the house. And you never thought that losing weight would be an optimal decision. You never thought that maybe that you don't have to be fat. It's not impossible. Like you do realize that just because you're having these insecurities about your body right now, doesn't mean that you're going to have them later because those are no longer going to be there, right? Like you're not going to have to worry about being fat when you're not fat. So why don't you just decide to not be fat? You know, like it works like that for anything. Like if you're like, oh man, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to starve. I have no food. Nobody's ever thinking like that when they open up their freezer and it's packed. So when you look at yourself and you go, I'm so fat, I'm so fat. I'm it's so insecure. These voices in my head are telling me I have all these inadequacies. I don't deserve anything. You won't be having those same thoughts about your weight if you didn't have that weight. You know that, right? I mean, maybe you would in a different way, maybe, but at least you wouldn't be having those thoughts anymore. So why don't you just decide to not be fat? It's not impossible. It's just called a calorie deficit. Like, again, people saying the most crazy shit you've ever heard in your life on the internet. And you think, do you not have friends? Do you not have like family members? Like, where's your mom? Where's your mom, dude? You don't have a best friend? Where's Sarah? Where's fucking Caitlin? Where's Joseph? Anybody would be better than me? Who am I? I don't even know you, bro. You shouldn't leave all the hate and all this other stuff up to me. I'm a good person, I think, personally. And I'm not gonna like really like harp on you here on this, but it just seems like, why are you doing that? You're running the gamble. You're running a gambling spree right now on how the internet's gonna receive this. It's just not worth it. It really takes that bravery and bravery you're literally being ignorant you're literally looking at these problems and you're going these are issues these are inadequacies i know they exist anyway that's what you're doing and that's not bravery that's just called blissful ignorance like you're literally just walking through the world acknowledging these problems and you're just going it's okay it's not okay you know it's not okay you're literally admitting it's not okay and you're talking about some i'm brave okay sure you're brave you're really brave. So brave, in fact, that you can't even acknowledge the truth anymore. I know deep down that I deserve. It really takes that bravery and courage to be our authentic selves. And I'm about to go out and be my authentic self. That's why you had to make this video, right? Just to ensure that your bravery is on peak 100%, right? That's why you had to make this video right now to just brag about how cool and brave you are. Totally. You did it. You're so good. Thank you for be showing us the bravery. It's emanating fully. I mean, you're an outlet of bravery. Truly. It's it's like a, you're a walking uh, embodiment of uh, the best traits in human being, even though you just had some really crazy shit. And I hope you can too. I'm something that fat people do that skinny people think is weird, but it's normal. Multiple sticks of deodorant not just for your armpits. I always thought that was weird. I don't know why so many people do it, and I don't know why you're fat enough to have to do that. That's an issue. I don't know why that's a thing. It's always scary to me when I see somebody whip out deodorant, and I think they're going to put it on their underarms, and then I see that they put it on their legs, and I go, that's deodorant, right? And they go, yeah, that's my deodorant. And I go, isn't that for your armpits? And they go, well, it's for anything, anything that sweats. And I go, why are you sweating so much in certain areas that you need to apply this? And they go, I'm like a nuclear reactor, dude. If you like, I steam so much, okay? Like I have so much extra heat coming off my body at any given time. I'm actually wondering why the US government hasn't put like a steam turbine above my head to harness the amount of energy that I'm just emanating off my body at any given point in time. It's actually incredible. Like if you put me, if you dunked me in water and just fed me Big Macs for 20 years, I would probably output more energy than any nuclear reactor in the entire United States tenfold. Anyway. We get really bad anxiety before going into a store because we're afraid the staff is going to be like, why is she here? She's not going to fit in anything. 
what if you're at like a uh grocery store is that like still like oh yeah no get this fucking hey we don't want you here we don't like your fatness we don't like what are you gonna buy hot pockets get out of here we don't like you why your leg look like that we don't we don't want your people here we don't like the way you're fat nobody's doing that nobody bro and if you walk into a store they don't have the the, the, the appropriate clothing items that are going to fit you, I'm pretty sure none of them are going to go. So, um, why are you here? <laughs> um, so, like, you're, like, fat, right? So, like, what are you doing here? Um, there's, like, a maternity store, like, a little bit down there. Uh, are you too big for that? <laughs> um, anyway, so, are, like, are you shopping for, your like, your daughter or something like that? Can you have kids? Oh, um, hey, what's that smell? Is that, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, whatever. I'm just going through Mean Girl era, sorry. I'm overweight. Of course I eat more calories in the morning than other people do. Well, you eat more calories in general. Let's be honest here on that one. I mean, you might be eating more calories in the morning, maybe. But, like, in general, you're eating more calories. I don't think it's really... I don't think it's really a... I don't know why you're pointing out the morning time. It's just whatever. Entire day. I'm overweight. Of course I'm a VIP member at every restaurant, but not at a gym. Yeah. I'm overweight, but I'm not alone. Every second American is. Every second American is alone? Sure. I guess we're all struggling with the fact that we can't find people to be with, maybe? I don't know. It's a weird cope, though. Let's talk about some more things I'm not allowed to do because I'm fat. This one's really irritating to me because I am just a complainer. At Is she ha Does she have a filter on? I, I, bro, the amount of people that don't have pores. Is it the makeup? It has to be a filter, right? This is a filter? Is this a filter? Somebody let me know down below in the comment section, okay? This is uncanny. Why is your face so smooth? Wait, you, how old are you, bro? What? You, you look like you're probably in your mid-20s, but your skin tells me you're like 10. What the fuck is going on? Why did, why are so many people so, so insecure about themselves that they have to stack filters so heavily? She has to be using a filter, right? There's no way somebody, I don't even see a single defect on her entire face. Okay, whatever, bro. I mean, dude, whatever. At heart... But I feel like when you're fat, you're not allowed to complain that it's hot. You're not allowed to complain that there's too much walking. You just, like, kind of can't complain. Well, like, if you complain about there's too much walking, most people are going to determine that because you're fat, you can't walk. And they're going to go, okay, oh, yeah, well, like, I get it. You're fucking 350. Like, n everything's going to be hard for you, obviously. Sarah, it's going to be difficult for you to go anywhere. I don't even know why the fuck we took you. No, to be honest, though, I've had many times in my life where I was walking with somebody that was very, very overweight. And I'm not even playing with you. These people literally were hitting me with, uh, you think we can get an Uber, David? I'm looking like... And Uber, dude, it's like, I don't know, four blocks away. I, it, no, I don't think so. You want to really get an Uber, dude? I don't like a four blocks, it's like a straight. It's a straightaway. And they go, ah, yeah, you're right. And obviously they wanted to take the Uber, but I'm not buying an Uber. And they would even go, I'll buy it. And it's like, I don't think you understand that that's not the problem for me. I have no issue walking and you shouldn't either. If you put yourself in this body size, all you're doing is just enabling yourself more to be fat that's an issue dude and the same thing for being hot um i've literally met dudes in the middle of december walking around in literal basketball shorts no no pants on or anything like that like you'll they'll be wearing a north face on the top but they'll have basketball shorts on the bottom and these dudes will be still sweating like their faces will still be like dripping and you the reason for that is because they have so much extra weight on their body they're like a, a perpetual uh, walking heater or like like I was saying earlier like the uh, nuclear reactor like about anything <laughs> also feel like if you're at some sort of like party with like friends and family like at a it's just so it's I this has to be a filter right it just kind of creeps me the fuck out because I see so many people using filters nowadays and it makes me think that you're not a real person it's it's so uncanny bro like, I feel like these people should be more open to representing themselves more realistically than just having filters so often, dude. Because I don't think they realize that when people look at people like this and they're using filters to smooth out their face like that, it is so uncomfortable for the eyes, bro. It's I'm like looking at a video game character or something like that. Even video game characters have more pores than you, dude. House where there's a, like, buffet-style food, like Thanksgiving or something like that, you're not allowed to be the first one to get food. And if you are, it's just the most humiliating experience. I just think you have bad friends. Where are you going where people are going like, damn, you really gonna order that? Damn, of course she gonna be the first one to order. <laughs> Look how big she is. Big bitch alert. Big bitch alert. Who's doing that? You got friends around you that are saying that shit, dude? Ditch them. I don't care if you're the fattest person in the room. I don't care if like, 
these are not good friends, okay? I don't know what scenario you're in. Don't go out with your family either if they're doing that. If your mom and your dad are saying that shit, stop being their friends. I get it. They're your mom, your dad. They're fucking shit people if they're doing that. It is what it is. Um, you shouldn't have to put up with that. You should probably lose weight regardless, but not for that reason, but more for, for you instead of getting made fun of from your family or your friends or whatever, dude. But it's still no excuse. Uh, it's okay helpful teasing every once in a while. I'm like, damn, man, you big as hell. But it's more appropriate to be like, dude, you got to lose some fucking weight. This is ridiculous. Like, you're fat. Not in the moment where you're out in public. I would never recommend anybody flaming each other out in public. That's crazy. Of all time? Um, I don't know. I just feel like you're, like, fucking fat bitch. Of course you're eating first. <laughs> On top of that, you can't have the most food either. Like, you, I... Because <laughs> like you're already big as fuck, right? So, like, a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, this makes sense. You're big, so you're going to order the most food. I mean, what, like, it's obvious. At, like, Thanksgiving or whatever, like, my... At Thanksgiving is crazy, bro. ...plate has to be, like, the smallest because clearly, based on my size, people think that I eat the least. Well, you you eat the most. That's obvious. Like, I mean, you may not eat the most according to everybody else in the room, but you do eat more than what you need because you're fat, so, yeah. ...the whole family, so... Obviously. I want to know if this one's a universal experience or not, but I feel like when I'm at a restaurant and there's one side with a booth and one side with just like a chair, I cannot sit in the booth. Is is that just me or? You're just fat. That's a problem. Stop being so fat that you can't fit into booths. Why are you even talking about this? Like, how are you going to sit there and say it's really embarrassing for people to point these things out when I'm out in public and then be like, yeah, let me just post this video to like my hundreds of thousands of followers so that way they can reconfirm my absolute embarrassment. For some reason, people do the weirdest shit online. I just don't understand it. But regardless, uh, you're an amazing person. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Real quick, before we go any further, this is a filter, right? This is a filter? Is this a filter? Le le please let me know. I need to know. Is that a filter? Her face is way too smooth, dude. I see zero pores on her entire face, bro. And sometimes even on her arms and her legs. I mean, her arms and her chest area. What the fuck is going on with that? But anyway... That's the word of the day. I'd appreciate it very much. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in filter because it seems like this is what's going on today. Filters all over the place. I don't know why so many people are so comfortable with them. It's only going to work in your detriment because if anybody ever sees you in public and they go, are, are you that girl that's on a, what the fuck happened to you? What, why do you look so goddamn different? You don't look like you did on that TikTok video. What the fuck? You, you are, your entire jaw structure is like, are you using like eight filters? That's what's gonna happen. The same thing happened to Becky Jones when she was doing that podcast. I looked at her and I was like, God damn, Becky be looking weird, bro. Becky be looking real weird because she can't stack up those five, six, seven, eight, nine filters all at once. Man, that phone gotta be on 10% battery perpetually with all those filters that are gonna be going on with Becky. Anyway, um, we're gonna end the video here, guys. You're an amazing person. I'm so happy that you chose to watch this video with me today. I really appreciate you. I think that it's so amazing that we can share these times together. I'm so it's so amazing that we can connect through the power of the internet and have this like common understanding. Um, I really appreciate you. Thank you for letting me share some time with you today. Uh, I really, really, really love you. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, anyway, uh, socials, well, social medias will be linked down below in the descriptions and uh, description of the channel, the description of this video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.